Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be sharing with you a non-makeup makeup look. So I'm going to be applying my makeup well, it's not going to be my usual makeup look. Uh, if you watch my channel quite a bit, you will know that I usually wear quite a bit of makeup and I usually wear that every day. But I've seen that there's a little bit of a trend for less makeup and I thought I would jump on that trend and actually share with you my non-makeup makeup look. So the first thing that I've done is applied the Revolution Skincare. All products will be listed down below that I've applied to my face today and of course the makeup that I'm using in this video. Now the first item that I will be applying is this and it is very dirty but I'm going to be sharing this with you. It's the Revolution Pro Powder Foundation. It's a pressed powder foundation however mine is not pressed. It came broken but I'm still using it. So um, I've actually nearly used it all up now so I'm just going to um, show you it is pretty dirty uh, but I'm not going to open it on camera because it might just fall all out but I am absolutely loving that in the video that I shared with you I actually rated that five out of five so I've applied a little bit of that already because I've had to go out and about and pick up some puppy things a um, little bit windswept I must say and um, the brush that I'm going to be using to apply it is this one and it's the Real Techniques contour brush which I find really, really good for getting into all of those areas. So what I'm going to do first of all is, I'm not gonna put concealer under my eyes, nothing like that. I'm just gonna press a little bit of this powder into the, or onto the skin. So a little bit underneath and I just pat it on like that. So no foundation, only this. I mean, usually I actually put the conceal and define but for those days where I am very, very busy, as I have been over the last few days, this is basically all I need to apply. It is a fantastic powder. I've actually never used a powder foundation before, but this one is amazing. Now, I'm not going to go down my neck just because obviously I'm wearing a roll neck. Um, like I say, I went out in this wind, and if you do hear it howl around the house, apologies, but wow. In fact, it's so windy, I'm not surprised it's like the Wizard of Oz, and I'm not seeing things fly, you know, by the window, um, or across the window. It's that windy here in Norfolk. Okay, so that is the powder, I'm trying to say two words together, the powder foundation applied. It is phenomenal, absolutely amazing product. I would recommend it to anyone. Let me just pick the box up again without um, putting too much powder everywhere. This is five pounds and it is amazing. So do check that out. If you would like either a you know, foundation that is not too much, or if you want to use it in conjunction with another foundation, it sets my conceal and define perfectly, even under the eyes. Okay, the next product that I'm going to be using is this. And again, it's a standout product. It's the Revolution, it's the Reloaded Bronzer in Holiday Romance. This is standout. It's only three pounds, it is amazing. I'm using the NYX fan brush to apply this. And I'm just going to go round the hairline and then just dust a little bit. I don't want too much, I just want a little bit. Now because this is a powder, or I've applied a powder foundation, I can now go like this, rather than you know dotting it on, because it is um, so smooth and so beautiful. Now I'm going to apply this on the chin area, to give a little bit of warmth, as well as on the nose just gives you that glow. Um, this does have a glow to it um, and usually I wouldn't use a bronzer with a glow but this is amazing. It gives me a glow but it gives me a healthy like sheen, there's no glitter in it, it is just a glow, like a glow from within I suppose. I'm not wearing any blush, I don't need any highlight, I've got that glow from the Reloaded bronzer, it is beautiful. Okay now I have applied my brows they will always be the same basically. I can't do anything about, I've tried to lessen them, um, but my natural brows are fairly thick. 
So um, to be honest, if I had really thin, which is what I've actually got as a natural brow now, but the brows that I was born with, I suppose, my natural brow should be, be very full, um, which is what I, um, you know, this is my eyebrow design, I suppose. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit, not too much, of the Revolution Pro Eye Elements in Central. You can see I love this. This is my second uh, tub of this. I love it. Now what I don't want to do is go too heavy because obviously it's going to make the eye heavy and then the face will be light and you know we want everything light so i'm just putting a very very thin little layer of that patting it in as always and then i'm going in on the other eye carefully what i want to do is just cancel out any pigmentation i've got and give a little bit of a nice one toned base I suppose. I also find that it really does cancel out. I've got quite, um, I've got some veins here um, and it just makes that area look quite deep. Um, I don't necessarily want to, you know, cover them completely because obviously I just want a natural look, but it just lightens up that area a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just get that brush again um, that I applied the Revolution Pro powder foundation open my compact up again just get a little light dusting of that powder onto the eye honestly i use that foundation to set everything because it is so finely milled and it is absolutely beautiful so that is the uh, base applied i'm now going to bring out an old favorite if you haven't checked out this uh, palette or perhaps this range of palettes then i would certainly do so it's only four pounds is the revolution reloaded basic mats. In my head I've, I can hear a drum roll and a clap because this palette is absolutely stand out. Um, <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is just get my eye contour brush from Primark and I'm going to go in with um, a, quite a light colour to start with that one. Obviously this is a very much light daytime or non-makeup makeup look, not even daytime appropriate. It is just a non makeup makeup look so i'm using that shade just to give myself a little bit of a touch of color nothing too dramatic so again on the other eye like that I'm going into the color next to it in fact actually no I'm going into that same color and I'm just going to pop that underneath if I don't have any color here or you know something it just makes me look not I don't know perhaps tired I don't really know I always look tired anyway it's just how I was born okay I'm going into that color here and I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit. What I want to do now is give myself a little bit of a natural colour um, without going you know, too over the top, I suppose. So a little bit of that. Like that. And then I'm just going to take that same shade a little bit deeper and just put it under the eye so i've got a little bit of depth under the eye now i'm just going into a little bit of a um i don't know i suppose one color not this is not the color that i would um, use to deepen up the crease but for today the non-makeup makeup look i am bottom row second one in obviously it's upside down and i'm just going to add a tiny little bit of depth nothing major certainly light for me like that a little bit under the eye just the first third in like that just gives me a little bit of something um, without you know being too too much 
just going to sweep it here so you can see I've got something there but it's just nothing major is it just giving me a little bit of something Now what I'm going to do on my finger is just get um, this colour, the first shade that I started off with and I'm just going to pop that on the inner part of the lid. I'm not wearing any eyeliner today at all. So that is the eyeshadow applied and completed. Of course I'm going in with my favourite mascara, the Mascara Revolution. I do own the waterproof version um, which was kindly gifted to me in a PR package by Revolution, the Revolution team. Um, but I still have a little bit to go in this version so that's obviously what you'll see in a few upcoming um, looks. Um, but yeah I do have the waterproof version, I could possibly do with that if I get, went outside again but for this tutorial I want to try and use this one up before I move on to that um, so a little bit of this not much although I did have quite a my eyelashes always want to cross over but this formula and this brush straightens them out so that is really good so I've had to go in a little bit more than I wanted but my eyelashes are the same as my hair a little bit wild There we go. So that's the mascara applied. Now what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of gloss. Now, if you haven't tried these, I suppose there's a lot of recommend recommendations in this um, little tutorial um, because um, I suppose these are what I wear a, a lot um, and they are perfect for this kind of look. But if you haven't tried these, you need to try these especially if you like a little bit of a gloss if you like um, a scented lip gloss and also if you like inexpensive and they are the I Heart chocolate lip are they called lip gloss yet yeah. and these are only a few pounds this one I think is which one is this one if I can read it salted caramel it smells like salted caramel oh it is absolutely beautiful um, and it's just it smells beautiful it applies beautifully um, it's obviously not going to stay on the lip if you eat and drink because it is a gloss but wow does this keep my lips moisturized they're extremely dry today you know when you've got those dry lips and you smile and you can just feel the, the um, cracking in the lips that is what how mine feels to uh, feel today but with this they will give a little bit of a nice moisturization with and also a nice scent oh my goodness I can't recommend these enough these again are another five star in fact everything I've used today is a five star product so let's apply this oh if you don't like scents um, the scent does um, dissipate it, you know it's not gonna last but for that application it's a wow love that scent as you can tell it just gives you I don't know it just finishes the look doesn't it absolutely beautiful scent beautiful shade and beautiful product okay so that is it that is my non makeup makeup look I suppose I could have gone a little bit more perhaps with the um, highlighter but this beautiful product just gives me that added glow and um, you know on those days where you don't want to be fully made up um, then 
these are the products that I would certainly recommend. So that is my non-makeup makeup look. I would love your, uh, love your thoughts on my makeup, the products that I've shared with you today. I think looking around at all of the products, yeah, they are all five star products. Even the um, Conceal and Define, which I use to carve out my brow, is a five star product. All of the products will be listed down below. Like I said, do keep your comments coming. I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, if I can speak, if you would subscribe to watch further videos. But hopefully, um, because it's been manic over the last couple of days, sounds like a train, doesn't it? But it's not, it's the wind. Um, anyway, until to tomorrow, hopefully, until next time anyway, I'll see you all then. Thank you. Bye.